Hello people and welcome to another episode of Sandman's Tackle Time. Tonight we're going to talk about these fellas. And for those that's never seen them before, they're called Twin Links. And tonight, like I say, I'll show you how to make one. What do you need to do the job? You will need a set of round nose pliers, as you've seen us use time and time again. These can be purchased from Halfords for $9.99, for those that don't know. You'll need a set of universal pliers, and you'll need a set of long nose pliers. And again, the way that we're using tonight is the 316 grade stainless steel welding rods. Just before we go on and I explain how to make one of these, I'd like to just uh, show um, the lads that's buying these in the 5 kilo tubes a little tip. If you're going out there and you're buying these stainless steel welding rods by the 5 kilo tube, i.e. like that, and while I'm hitting on it, just so if any of the other lads out there would like to purchase one of these, the only place apart from eBay that I've seen you can get this stuff is a company called Lingate. They're in Pallion, Sunderland. The tube retails anywhere from 45 to 55 pound per five kilo tube. And it's worth every penny. I know that sounds a little bit expensive, but if you think about what you're buying, it is stainless steel, it'll never rot. It's absolutely top notch stuff. So for me, I think it's so bad price, and uh, they do last quite a while. And make sure you get the 1.6 mil. So you want 316 grade 1.6 mil stainless steel welding rods. There you go. If you're stuck on details of where to find Lingate and Pallion, send us an email, contact us through Facebook, and I'll uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Anyway, but if you've been out and bought a tube of this, you'll know this is a cut off of one of the ends. Now a lot of the lads out there have thrown these in the bin and I kind of call them because I used to do it myself until I thought, well, hang on a minute, recycle, that's what the keep on telling us to do. So what I've done is if you can come out, zoom into this, I'll show you. If you can look onto the tip of that, you can see it goes flat and that's what I mean by the cutoffs, you would throw it away. That's no good that, what can I use that for? This is what I do with it. Go to the end. Cut it off, discard that, that there, I mean, you can't really do nothing for. Now you've ended up with a little length like that. What's that, two, two and a half inches? I'm just going to do this quickly, just so I can show you. Make a loop, if you see me do, time and time and time again. Just a nice little neat and tidy loop. And like I say, a neat and tidy loop is a strong loop, that's what I always say. So you've made that, as you can see there. Go to the other end. And just bend the wire all the way through, so I'm doing it like that. So you're there. And you've probably guessed it already, what I've made. For those that make their own sinkers out there, you've just made an eye. So that piece of wire that you would normally discard, throw away, you've now just made it into an eye. Put it into a self saleable bag, one of them little self saleable bags. Put them to one side. Do that a hundred times, you've probably saved yourself, I don't know, fiver, tenner, whatever it is. So there you go. Back to the twin link, what do we do? So I've explained what tools you need, the pliers, the length of stainless steel that we're using tonight is 9 centimetres long. I have done these down for a short 6 centimetres long and I must admit they get very fidgety to make, very awkward. You can do it but if you want a size of a one, I'll just put the pliers so my hands aren't in the way. If you want a size of one about that big, which is as a ruler in inches it is about an inch and a quarter in roughly in centimeters it's about three and a half centimeters which to me is a lovely lovely size i don't think i would have ever wanted much smaller than that or larger so to me that's the right size so to get that size i used nine centimeter stainless steel welding rod this is how, how you make them Get your universal pliers in your hand and put your welding rod halfway through the ply, as you can see there. Just like that, halfway through. Make a little bend, that's all you're doing, just go like that. You end up with that. Go to the other side and repeat the process, but you want the wire bending the opposite way of what you've just bent it. So that one there, you want that facing towards you so that one's bending up because this one that you're doing now is going to bend down. So you move that and bend that down. 
Again, I'll put it in the plier so you can see it without my hands being in the way. So that's where you are now. That one's going down, this one's coming up. Putting your universal pliers to one side, about a centimetre down from the top of the wire, as you can see there, grip it in your pliers like that. You want that wire there facing up, that one's facing away from you. Put your finger there just to stabilise it off, that's what I always do. And just bend that round, clean and round, like that. You'll then end up with that. Get your, long, your universal pliers and nip that together. So in a way I suppose it just looks like a Gemini clip in a way doesn't it? Once you've done that you want to go to the other end and literally, re literally repeat the process of what you've just done. So again, that one's there, it's facing away from us. We're about a centimetre down the shaft from the top. Put your finger in there to stabilise it and you're just going to come straight round like that. You'll then end up with there. The reason, sorry I'm jumping ahead, what we'll do now is we'll quickly nip that together so you end up with that. 